I want to talk about this play that the Warriors run, most notably for Andrew Wiggins and Stephen Curry. I'm going to call it Chin Loop because it begins with the dribble handoff on one wing and then the ball immediately swings across to the other side, which is an action I associate with the chin offense. I don't really know if this is a chin offense play, but anyway, I'm going to call it Chin Loop. So here's the basic play. It always starts with the ball up top, someone on one of the sides gets a down screen, and the ball comes to them. Then the screener, Draymond here, is taking a long loop where it's going to come all the way around to do this ambush pick and roll for the top, who's going to get the ball right back. So the ball comes back, and Draymond has run quite a long way to set the screen. I don't know if this defender knows the screen is there. This is a pretty silent but deadly screen. Wiggins takes the screen. Takes a moment to size up the situation and pulls up for the nice jumper. Jordan Poole does it. There's a lot of pointing and discussion between these three people because they're not exactly sure which side they're going to run on. I think that's what they're talking about. And finally, they decide, okay, we're going to start on the right side. So here's kind of a down screen. I'm not sure there's actual contact made. And then the ball's going to come back to this side. And Draymond's going to loop around to set the screen. There's the ball. The ball comes across to Jordan Poole, and Draymond, who's looped all the way around, and he's going to set a screen for Poole, who gladly takes it. Because of the sneaky way that Draymond cut, you can see Draymond's man is a little slow to react to the fact that Draymond is setting a screen here. So Poole has lots of space to put up a shot, and he misses, but the play is sound. So now what happens when Steph Curry runs the play? There's Steph. A down screen here the ball will come over and then Draymond's going to loop around and come back there's the handoff now it's one thing when Andrew Wiggins or Jordan Poole runs it these are decent players but they're not going to get special treatment from the defense in this case Indiana says hey I know this guy he's Steph Curry I really do not want the pass to come through so you see the defender is overplaying what would normally be the pass across Right, so Draymond is supposed to loop around and set the screen for Steph Curry. But this defender is trying to make it hard to get the initial pass through. So do the Warriors give up and let Damian Lee ISO? Of course not. Instead, you see the defender steps hard to overplay this pass. Damian Lee looks like he's passing to the bench, but they all know what they're doing. Draymond is stepping up here to get the ball. And Steph is going to cut behind and get the handoff from Draymond. So it's a little relay beautiful. It turns into an instant dribble handoff and Steph has a little bit of room to pull up for the long two. Well done. That pressure release when someone's overplaying the pass across the top is called blind pig. A famous little action that the triangle offense runs. Good old Lamar Odom passing it to Luke Walton. This defender is overplaying the pass so Luke gets the ball from Lamar. This is Jordan Farmer, who cuts behind and gets the little dribble handoff. Luke Walton, who will, of course, rise to fame as assistant coach of the Warriors, he puts a little pizzazz on it and throws it between his legs for extra flair. And let's just have a look at it from this angle. That's a really nice play. And I'm expecting if the Warriors keep on running Blind Pig that we're going to see between the legs type passing. Here's another example. There's the frustrating Compazzo. You see that the Warriors are starting this. Draymond is going to do the dribble handoff on this side. Steph is waiting for the ball back. It's slightly different in this case. They don't have Draymond doing the long loop. They have Looney starting to loop from here in the paint. And the reason is that Jokic is guarding Looney. They want Jokic in the play. The annoying Compazzo is cutting off the pass to Steph. So this is a perfect time for this pressure release. Looney steps up here, gets the pass, Steph cuts hard behind him, and gets the handoff. Blind Pig. You can tell from this freeze frame that Jokic is not exactly in the most stable position. It's going to get worse when Kampazo, or he's just stepping on Jokic's foot, which sends him straight to the floor. People are always falling to the floor around Kampazo. The Nuggets are playing 5 on 4, and it's just a matter of finding the open man. Steph drives. The entire defense collapses. These two guys jump at Steph. Jokic is sending 
negative waves towards Steph, hoping that Steph will get bad karma. Lots of places Steph could throw the ball. Draymond is the most open in the corner. As soon as this man takes a step towards Draymond, you see his weight there. Draymond bullets it over to Mulder, and Mulder cashes the check. Again, there's the down screen. The ball's going to go to one side. Draymond's going to take a long loop and get ready to set a screen on this side. There's the handoff. Draymond is looping around, coming back. The ball's going to come across, right? On the other side here is Steph's friendly nemesis, Seth. So curry on curry violence here. Seth has got his arm here ready to stop any pass across. I think this is baked into the play, honestly, but you can see this could easily be part of a read and react offense. So Draymond's going to step up, get the pass, and Steph's going to cut behind him. There it is. Now the whole 76ers defense is collapsing on Steph. Seth is trailing. These two defenders are digging in. Rotation in the back line here. Everybody, I think the uh, the popcorn vendor over here is coming out to jump on Steph, which leaves this baseline cut open. Nice little pass. Good fit. Good try on the finish. Looney gets bodied to the ground. Good play. Who me? Did I did I do that? One more variation. I think you're starting to get the hang of this play. There's a lot of negotiation. I don't know what this is. Every time this play starts, people have to talk about, I think because they run it on both sides of the court, they have to talk about which side they're running it. And with Draymond and our guy Juanito, you know, they've got some serious uh, super brain power happening here. So they might be having some four dimensional chess thing they're going through. But anyway, they finally agree. Let's run it on that side. The ball comes over. Dribble handoff, Draymond loops around. They are tempting this defender to cut off this pass across to Steph, and Damien is just so on top of it, he's expecting the defender to do that. So he's already throwing the ball to the blind pig action. There's the pass. Steph will cut behind, get a handoff, right? There it is. This defender's on top of things. He's actually cutting off this dribble handoff. That is really alert defense. So Steph decides, eh, that's not working. He stops on a dime. Here's the defender flying this way. Steph is just going to reverse out here. Gets the handoff. And suddenly Steph has six feet of room. Swish. Beautiful counter to the overplay of the blind pig. 